It has been an amazing summer and it's time to shut down. We spent hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, probably thousands, just to have the pool for the season. But I've learned a lot and I'm excited for next year. So come with me as we tear this thing apart. We're gonna rip it all out and repaint so it looks like that. All right, so the first thing we do is backwash the entire thing and basically suck down the water dry. All right, so any minute now we're gonna start losing prime because this siphon is gonna be gone. You can already start hearing it uh, See, it's already struggling already. It's about to lose its prime. So I'm gonna shut this main one off here. And now we're not gonna have to worry about that one sucking. We're gonna rely on the other ones and hopefully that can get us through. So now you can see the prime is starting to struggle with this one. So we're gonna shut this one off and see if we can get that one to just go through there. Okay, I got the pump out just in case, but this year I'm trying something different. I was able to catch the prime between all three and rely just on this one. Um, so we lowered the pump down to about 60 gallons per minute and uh, that flow rate should allow us to keep prime and uh, basically suck the pool out from there. It's gonna probably take a couple days. If I do some math here quickly, then I would know. But uh, yeah, we're just relying on that one in the deep end. There's a lot of junk in there I know I need to clean, but that's actually helping keep the prime instead of allowing it to have to hold all that water, there's a, almost like a filter stuck in there. And it's directly going out here to our, our exit. These are my skimmers. They make the uh, water pressure uh, suck in, siphon way better. So I highly recommend these um, for pretty much any pool. Save yourself some a little bit of electric and get some more leaves into your thing there. Less work for you with uh, the top. Last year, the motors died on these things. I got them replaced for free, but then it didn't know how to run. So I had to pay 60 bucks to get this uh, back working again. This is a solar panel and it uh, cleans the top of the pool. Amazing, absolutely a must. As ghetto as this may look hanging off the side of your house, the kids absolutely love it. And uh, we're gonna hook it up next year for sure. <laughs> I think it's sweet. This guy is called Water Guru, and he actually tests all the chemicals for me every night and sends it to my phone and then tells me what to do. The reason I like that one is the dogs can't eat it, and it's way more accurate and less work and less hassle than the other one I was using. I was able to hook up the pump there, and that's already ready to go, so we should be done by tonight. Okay, it's uh, pretty much time to turn the pump off for its final run. It's low enough that I'd like to run off of that one only because I'm getting a lot of dirt and murk into there and I don't want that to go into here and ruin this because that's a lot of money. So it's time to say goodbye. This is it. This is the final one for the day.